two selfish needs start learning to think like one unified us, sharing everything. There are no boundaries and no barriers, instead total openness and total sharing until death do they part. Brent, I'm so proud of you. You are a woman of excellence. You are tenderhearted and kind. You're an amazing daughter, sister, and friend. I hope today is the day that you prayed about. I hope today is a celebration of the faithfulness of God in your life. You're amazing, pretty, pretty. Kyler, thank you. Thank you for being Brett's best friend. Promise me you will love her with your whole heart for a lifetime, that you will prefer her above yourself, that you will speak in her destiny and all that God has for her and the two of you. Thank you, Kyler, for putting God first in your life and now your lives together. Remember to choose love every day. Love isn't something that just happens, but it's a choice. Choose to put each other first always and make God the center. Never stop laughing together and never stop passing each other sweet notes in church that you think no one else saw and read. Is this the way it is to go? No. Okay. So she knew she wanted this one. She actually had pinned it five different times. Yeah. The same thing. Yeah. yeah. And she all didn't even realize it was, it was like, perfect. All the girls are in there. <laughs> yeah. You look so beautiful. <laughs> I like these. You do. Thank you very much. God's plan brought these two together, and not today in front of us all, they made it official. I could not be any more happy to be a part of this day and to watch their love story continue to grow as they choose each other today and every day for the rest of their lives. This feeling that we've had over the last few months uh, as we lead into marriage is kind of like, I, I'm a little homesick. Like that's kind of how we can best describe it. And so I think it's just this feeling of like, I'm, uh, we're going home. Kai, I look up to you every way as possible, as a son, as a brother, a friend, a follower of Christ. You name it and I look up to you. You continue to raise the bar for what it's like to be a man. You inspire me with your work ethic and the way your job literally revolves around serving people. You pick such an awesome girl. <laughs> Sorry. You pick such an awesome girl to join our family. And Britt, even though you just now became my sister, you've been a part of our family for a long time. I'm so incredibly happy for the two of you, and I wish you a happy, unified, and successful marriage. It's Kyler and Britt. Britt's gonna like you after this. She knew the cross on in the beginning, it seemed like they were total opposites. Kyler likes to have everything planned out, whereas Britt is a little more spontaneous and go with the flow. But I'm glad to tell you today, they didn't let small differences in their personalities keep them from each other. I've seen them sacrifice for each other and grow into a couple who is still different, but knows how to love the other person the right way. They have truly learned to put each other first. Oh my, so, oh my gosh. Oh. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> That's so different than anything I thought. I know, oh. I know it is because I was like, you probably want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Oh man. Do you love it? Yeah. You look so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I won't wear your makeup. Oh, this is great. Thank you. Ready to get married? Yes. Daniel's in the bus, so he's gonna come and just we're just gonna do it right here. Oh, I thought you were It's so pretty. I, I wasn't I was totally not expecting anything like that. I like the long um train. the long train though. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Oh man. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. Alright. Now, now we're ready. <laughs> now we're ready. <laughs> okay. Kai, there is no one else I'd rather spend my forever with. Today I officially call you my husband and I couldn't be more excited for God's plan for our life together. It feels like I've known you forever, but really I get forever to know you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me be the one who gets to love you. When I met you at Welcome Week, I had no idea that you would become my wife, but I'm so thankful that God slowly unveiled that to me, even though you knew the whole time. Brittany, you are a good thing. You are sweet, lovely, patient, kind, and fiercely loyal. You love with your whole heart and you hold nothing back. You are just, pure, graceful, and elegant. You are everything that I could never deserve or earn. Britt, you deserve today and to be told how beautiful you are and to be covered in hugs and kisses from everyone you love. You deserve today because you so patiently waited for it. You've prepared your heart for me, you've guarded your heart, and you've been committed to me before you even knew me. You're the most incredible woman I've ever met, and I can't wait to make you my wife. 
Thanks for letting me love you, for being my buddy, and for the way that you love me so well. Oh, that's so sweet. But it has my card. Time to get married. It's about right. So want to marry me? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going anywhere? No. <laughs> okay. Today we give you one of our greatest treasures. <laughs> Please protect her. Love her well. Brett, I promise that I will pursue you every day of my life and I will never stop chasing after you. I promise to give you the best of myself and to be a better husband tomorrow than I am today. I promise to protect you, keep you safe, and make you feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. Today, many people will, will say that they're excited for us to start our journey together. I feel a little differently about it though. It feels like we've been on a journey for the past three years and we're finally coming home. You're my home, the absolute love of my life, and my best friend. I promise to see the good in you. I promise to make decisions with you and seek God's wisdom in every one of those decisions. I promise to share in the good times and in the not so good times. I promise to raise a family with you that loves God and loves people. I promise to have fun, to laugh with you, dance with you, and cuddle with you a lot. <laughs> um, I promise to be your best buddy and the wife that you deserve. I promise to let you be the man that God has called you to be. Lastly, I will choose to love you and only you every day for the rest of our lives. I know that when I look at you, I will always have something to be thankful for because you are the greatest gift I could have asked for. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Kyler, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyler Nixon. Try to outserve the other person each day. Kyler, when you wake up every morning, create ways to outserve Brittany. And then ask this question. Are you complimenting the marriage or are you complicating the marriage? Turn it into a competition for who can do more nice things and more thoughtful things for, for each other. At the end of the day, selflessness will be a practical pillar that you can build your marriage on. today be the start of so many memories together. Let today be a day that is etched in your minds, the day you said yes to each other. <laughs>